Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, Jack here. And today, what I have for you is daily races. In fact, I've got three of them. And one we've just literally finished. And um, yeah, it was a pretty boring race. We just started and finished and we got a victory. So happy days. We're going to start immediately with our 12th win. Uh, we've got three races today. Of course, two more to go. If you like what you see, guys, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. We're on our way to 100 subscribers. So if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and share the video with anyone that you think that might be interested in it. But anyway, on to race two. So this is really where the big, uh, where the video begins. But of course, I had to show off race one's win there. You can see the leaderboards. You can see everyone um, in the lobby. So at the moment, we have the German behind, uh, Merpet1782. This guy is amazing. So I have I have a really good video of him actually. So starting on pole, I ideally want to finish on pole like we did on the last race. Although in the last race, nothing really happened here. So because this one it does get interesting. I missed my apex here, so immediately we're going to see Merpet come in for action here. And this has been such a great week for me. I don't normally have amazing weeks on daily races, just uh, just standard. But I've really enjoyed Fuji this week. I feel like I've got really lucky. In fact, I've got a couple of wins under my belt, but I only captured a couple. So, of course, we're going to see if I can pull any more off in this video. Um, but, you know, it's just fantastic. I, I love the Scirocco around here. And, yeah, I feel, I feel good around here, I've got to say. Definitely one of my favourite tracks, I think, now. So, anyway, we're just trying to maximise track width and trying to just pretty much do as best as we can to try and break away from the rest of the pack. Of course, Mar Marpet is going to give us a big challenge here, but of course he, go he shows so much respect and there's, I really appreciate that. I don't see a lot of this happen often, especially of course with the lower ranks. I've been in B for a while now, so it's amazing to of course start working our way up and really just go up against better and better people as we go on. And I think being in Race Asylum helps massively as well. But yeah, I think um, I've definitely gotten faster over time and I feel like it's starting to show. Just a reminder guys, if you haven't already, check out Player. I'll leave a link in the description below. But basically, if you have Origin, Steam, Epic Games, you have all your PC games in different areas of your computer, you can download Player and you can have it all at your fingertips. And I believe you can get Spotify on there as well. At least I'm sure I've used it on there anyway. So basically an all-in-one program, very handy stuff. Anyway, apologies about that guys. Enough of me blabbing. So anyway, we're trying to work our way back round Marpets because he's made our way round us here. Not ideal. We need to try and get past him. Or her, for that matter. You can see here, we're door number 7 and Marpet is door number 14. So it's not really going to do a lot for us if we lose to Marpet. But what we're going to try and do is look up on the inside. Not quite able to get it done yet. So just going to stick alongside. We still have a lot of the race left to go here. So what we're going to try and do is make sure we hit our breaking points and just try and push as best we can. I found this to be a really nice combination here. This was on the Thursday night, I think it was, because on the Monday night, I was watching Affinity Gaming's stream, I think. Affinity Racing, my apologies, I've probably said that wrong there. But yeah, I was watching that stream. So I was just trying to compete with everyone else in the lobby. Set an okay time, but you can see my qualifying time is a hell of a lot better. And it really feels like that as well, actually, starting towards the top on most of these races. So, ideally, I want to keep this up. I'm a little bit um, cautious, as you see here. I don't want to go into this side of my pets. So, I'm going to actually go side by side here and actually get a nice run out here. Of course, the Audi TT, very good car. Very tricky to master. The same with the Scirocco here. And I've, I've driven the Shocker a little bit, but I don't find it to be the best because as soon as you go full power, the car locks up in terms of the steering. So it's very particular. However, I do feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it a bit more now. I also like the Atenza, but I just couldn't push on the Atenza as much as I could on the Scirocco. So I just found this to be the best combination. And again, my livery for this one, I believe it's by the Amazing Heat Seeker that has done this. Or at one point in time anyway, I think. So anyway, we go side by side with Marpets once again. We lose the position back down into P2. Got a little bit of a gap down to the Spaniard and the South African behind. And we're going to actually try and get the cut back here. Are we going to be able to get it done? That's going to be a very firm yes. And we're going to get on the left here for the defence. Hold it on the apex and then push it off. You're going to see here, so I'm fully accelerating out and it kind of locks up a little bit. It's hard to describe. But if you've hopped in a Scirocco, let me know. See um, if your thoughts are similar to mine. And also, guys, the GT7 trailer has dropped this week. So if you haven't seen it, of course, make sure you check it out. But I'm excited for that. It's dynamic weather, 
uh, dynamic time of day. It's just all going to be a fantastic sign. I do quite like it in ACC and in Project Cars 2. And I can't remember if it's in AMS 2 as well now, to be fair. But I do like the fact that they're looking to kind of broaden their horizons a little bit. So it's going to be a fantastic. And hopefully you'll get to see some new cars and tracks on there. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Leave a like if you're excited for uh, GT7 and leave a dislike if you're not. I'm very interested to see your your opinions, especially... Actually, let me know in the comments as well, down below, because I know it's all early days still, but it's still interesting to know. Anyway, Marpet drops behind, gets a penalty and sadly loses a lot of time to me there. So actually, we get a nice pole finish once again. So that's two wins in the video. Can we go for three? We can see we're on win number 13 right there. Happy days. So we're going to start race number three, the third and final race. And yeah, we're going to, of course, be starting a little bit lower down this time. You can see me just in the back there. We're starting in P7. Of course, my 140.4. Not too bad of qualifying time, that. I did try and improve that as best I could, but I just could not get any better than that. So anyway, this is the big race, guys. This is pretty much probably the reason why I clicked on the video. The thumbnail, of course, says a lot. <laughs> But no, this is a very tough race, this one, because you see here, I'm actually up against A, play, a races and A plus races. And I did check Kudos Prime just before this, and this is about, I was about 29k. This is the highest I've ever been. So, can we do it? Can we get to A rating? This is going to be the test of time. So make sure you stay tuned, of course. So we got actually a relatively good start here. So we're going to actually make the move on the Mazda, on the Atenza. Of course, I know the Scirocco is quite, quite nice on the acceleration anyway. Uh, maybe not perfect, but definitely quite nice. So we do get a nice move done there. Didn't mean for there to be contact if there was any, but I don't, didn't feel any at the time. But yeah, we actually get a very nice move done there. So he didn't defend it, so we're going to get that move up into P6. So what we want to do as best as we can and try and work our way up the grid as much as possible. We've got a little bit of a gap now to races around me, but we know the slipstream and we know it's daily race B. We know this one is not quite over yet. And I've got to say, I normally go on Daily Race C, but it's been a lot of fun to go back into Daily Race B. It's actually what I started with on the channel and in my GT Sport adventure. So I like the option to be able to pick your car, but then of course it's not too long. But at the same time, I do like strategy races. But I haven't actually played any Daily Race C at um, Lago Maggiore. Um, sadly, it's been a bit of a too, bu too busy of a week, but I found this qualifying time I set here started me towards the top a lot of the time. And as you can see already, I've already got two wins from it, so I suppose it's the best I didn't waste any effort trying to do the other ones, just focus on this one. It's been good to try and get more familiar with Fuji anyway, so it's been really nice. So anyway, we're, we've got a little bit of a gap still, but that gap is quickly going to come down. As you're going to see here, the German up ahead gets it slightly... Well, it goes a bit wide, but actually maybe it was for the better. It's got a really good run. So again, we're still alone, but that's going to quickly change, as lap two is a very interesting one, of course. So we are sadly just about outside slipstream range, I think, according to my MacBook anyway. Very blurry, but it's, um, of course, it, I can tell it's a little, we are a bit far away yet. But you're going to see here, I'm actually going to go and try and go two by two right there, I think it was. So that's actually going to slow them down and therefore speed us up. Of course, we've got the Mazda just behind us here. We need to be on the lookout for, we're looking behind. We do have a safe little gap. And basically, we want to try and make sure that the driver behind is not within two temps, so they're in attacking distance, because that's not what we want. We want to be looking forward, not behind. Now, of course, when it's random lobbies, we've always got to be careful and cautious of those around us. Same with the league races as well, of course, but in this circumstance... Oh, looks like someone's gone right there, the Brit, Mr. G-Man. So, actually, it's going to invite us in for trouble. However, in the daily races, it's especially important to be on your lookout because it's so easy to get punted off. And with the penalty system basically being turned off right now, it's um, basically it's uh, free for all. So, yeah, anyway, so we're going to be approaching Mr. G-Man here. 1973 for that matter. And we are really close, actually. So we have the Mazda on the outside of us here looking for the move, but we're not quite going to let it happen yet. We're going to park it on the apex and then push out. But just like that, we've gained all of this time. And now we're up alongside all these races. Oh, someone's gone wide there. The Italian, I think that is. Goes from P2 all the way down to P8, oh, P7, sorry. And you're going to see here, we actually go two by two. We get two trains forming here. We've got three on the left and us two in, us two over here. I'm going to just check out on the replay camera as well. And you see, we actually are in the lesser train right here. 
but we are on the inside so we're going to try and use this to our advantage so we're going to give him a nice little friendly bump draft and but instantly bumped up into P2 because P1's already uh, shot away now we don't want to actually cause any carnage here but it looks like again going two by two, two by two a little bit of contact but we still keep it all safe everyone's all okay that's the main thing and we have now found ourselves in P4 is podium on the table I would certainly say so so drive ahead breaks a little early however with slipstream we always need to be on the lookout anyway so that's all right um, and again he just compromises his uh, his line here so I accidentally go into the back of him not ideal I can't quite make out this name but he's driver door number one so ideally if we finish above this guy we should actually start getting a handful of points or maybe even more than we would have anyway so are we going to be able to get a move done into this sharp uh, right hander well actually it's not really sharp it's more of a loose right hander isn't it but not quite we're going to be a little bit too far away we want to make sure we absorb the, the curb and don't go off track like the two guys ahead both got dirty tyres, so we're going to look for the move. Not quite going to be able to get it done, but we are right there. So we can just hold our ground for now. Again, need to be careful of the Mazda behind. In fact, the Mazda just made a move on me there, so very fair, very much fair enough. Maybe should have defended it, but I didn't quite expect it to be from that far. But that's all right. So again, we're going to this corner. I do lose another position here to another Mazda. So we're in P6 now. We're in P Steve. Now, are we going to be able to push any more positions? This is certainly a test of time now because we've got final lap, one final lap to go. So what we're going to do is get on the inside train and give this master a bump draft. In fact, this is Ken Block. Is it the official Ken Block though? Let me know. That is the question. But again, I'm going to get out of the way. But it actually looks like Ken Block decides to attack and actually uh, does me a massive favour here by taking out the other guy. So uh, not the way I, of course, would like it. And I maybe should have um, covered this position here, but I actually get boxed in here with the two Mazdas, so I got nowhere to go. Luckily, didn't cut the curb there, so didn't get a penalty, but I did think that's close. And just for that, we're going to lose two positions over that corner. Not good. But we're in P5. We did start in P7, I think it was, so can we maybe try and get any more positions before the end of the lap? There is still time. And driver behind me there, looks like Mr. G-Man has kind of gone wide there, so gets uh, loads of the position. And luckily, the Spaniard behind has a penalty, so that's actually going to take a bit of weight off my shoulders. So we want to try and attack this curb as much as possible, which we do, and just trying to maximise the track width here. This is pretty much the aim of the game. And I do think I do feel a lot more comfortable with the new wheel now. Now that I've, of course, uh, been we've got two wins this week, plus the others that of course didn't capture. I think I've got another win. Maybe, and I think I've got a win on my second account, I can't remember now. But none on camera there, only the two, so whether you believe or not, up to you. But of course, I do feel like I'm getting used to my wheel now, and it does really help. So anyway, this is going to be a solid P5 finish. So that's a fantastic compared to what we were up against with A+, plus and A-ranked drivers. So amazing news. And of course, we're going to look here. So there you go, there's our P5. And let's just have a little look at the lobby real quick. Look at that. We got A. We did it. Our quest A is done. Now we can focus our attention on A+. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it wasn't quite a poll at the end there. Uh, sorry, a uh, podium, but it was amazing anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Bye-bye.